Hey, what's going on, everybody? New sticker board up. Yeah. Can American flag. And the wall of heroes. So today we've got a little bit of a silver stacking video. Um, again, I, I never really show my whole stack or anything. You, you never know how little I have. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to go through some of my constitutional silver. Show you some pieces I got. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. couple of rocks in the background and the old second amendment box my treasure box for she these new shows coming out oh what's up clash didn't see you in there and oh another box look at that oh what's up ron didn't see you in there all right guys so anyway let's get into it so i always like to show these guys off from prospectors golden gems Honestly, just my favorite poured bars out there. Um, some geodes from Werewill. So, let's start out with some dimes. Alright, we got a rosy dime. 1964. Just a nice dime. Obviously, the last minted silver. Dimes. Merc dime. 19... 45. I like the war years, obviously, just uh, because of historical reasons, I guess. I just really enjoy the war years. And a barber dime right here. 1914. Love barber dimes. Man, I love them. They're awesome. Yep. Think about it, man. That was held by people during the Depression <laughs> that still had money. Imagine how much one little silver dime bought during the Great Depression. That's wild. Imagine what that dime bought. That little dime. Crazy. A war nickel. 1945. This has got the S mint mark. Now, war nickels obviously between 42 and 45 were only 35% silver. So they needed that copper for the war effort. Also the reason we have the steel pennies. Into the quarters, we got Washington, 1956. Yeah. Well, and I don't have many quarters, guys. And I, I don't know. I, I haven't stared at this long enough to see the date. Uh, might need one of those. Like, uh, this is a standing Liberty quarter. Might need one of those. Like. Uh, x-ray machines to see the pressure of the metal in there to actually read a date on that thing it's slick she pretty much slick but i still got one so that's what matters and a barber quarter man 1915 again imagine what that bought <laughs> ridiculous yeah i love barbers love them we get in a half dollars i've successfully given away all of my 70 percent half dollars or I mean my 40% half dollars. I had 67s. That's why I had 7 on my mind. Uh, yeah. The old Kennedy 90%er. 1964. The old Benji. 1963. Last year of the Benjis. Yep. Let's see if that'll... Neat. Stayed up there. Mm-hmm. Walkers. Man, 
See, I used to think walkers were my favorite coins, and they still kind of are. 1939, but man, look at that awesome, awesome coin. This is actually a pretty good walker, you know. Um, and they are still some of my favorite coins, but look at that barber half, man. 1908. That eagle is just tough. That is one of the toughest coins I've ever seen. It's tough. It's tough as nails. Yeah. We'll put that one over here, I guess. All right, now on to the big ones. This was my first piece of silver ever. I've showed this one before. 1878. S mint mark. It's the reverse of 78. It's got the sunken in chest. You can see how the tail feathers go in and there's still detail there. That means it's got the sunken in, yeah, the sunken in chest. It's got the, it's the reverse of 78. Seven tail feathers, reverse of 78. Pretty cool coin. There's like, I don't know, there's like six or seven different versions of that year. First year production of that. They were really trying to get it right. And then, my second piece of silver ever. This, these American Silver Eagle, of course. And now I know this isn't constitutional silver, but uh, it's American silver. So that's, you know, minted by the American government, the federal government. 1986, the first year. And I know, I know this thing should have been slabbed or at least put in a little case. But I've held it since I was probably 14, along with that Morgan up there. And I don't care, they're mine. They're my first two pieces of legit silver, so. Anyway. There she is. So guys, and gals. Just a quick little display of some of my constitutional silver. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great evening. So we got me and uh, Logie Bear here at the park. What do you think, buddy? He's going for a nice little walkabout. Seeing what's up. He wants to go. We're going to have to hit the road. So here you've got the American silver dollar and the Canadian silver dollar. Here's a size comparison. Uh, one, the American dollar is 90% silver, while the East Canadian one is 80% silver. And what we'll see next is the weights of the two. So the American dollar is 0 0.840, already obviously worn, that's troy ounces. And the Canadian one is 0.747. So 10% less silver, about 10% less weight. Verify. Show them both again. So there you go. So it's lighter, less silver content. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that little episode. And uh, I hope you all have a great and fantastic day. Take care. And watch these squirrels coming up.